I'm thankful that you did me wrong Cause now I got it right, I promise you gon' miss me gone I done seen it all like the first picture phone They wishing on my downfall with the wishing bone Oh, ladies Y'all gonna be counting this motherfucker though How much, what, what time are you leaving out of here? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 305, what? Please don't bring that shit up in here. Last <laughs> time we all talking, we done got sick. Me and my friend got sick. I'm laughing out the weed. Yo, sick. Now, unless you on Cloud 10, Under Unwrapped, how you on the mother can worry? What's good, y'all? It's yours truly. Once again, Heartbreak Ace. If you're familiar with my content or not, hit that like, comment, subscribe, so the algorithm gets breaking content every time I upload. Cause I mean, I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the fuck are y'all? But I love it though. I mean, the more the better. So act with make sure that people get my video so they can like and subscribe. And we'll be cool for a little while. Cause I ain't gonna lie, man. I ain't really no bully type, but I like bullying you. When you don't get these people that video. Little Nick. Nah, topic of discussion on why we here. Shout out to my guy Joe again, man. It's another reaction video, a double reaction, actually. I kind of spoke on this situation a little bit, which is Drake releasing the uh, 100 gigs of content with the three unreleased songs, plus the uh, behind the scenes studio sessions and all of that. I kind of touched on it a little bit. Well, you know, a lot of people already know the history with Joe Budden and Drake. So, of course, everybody was waiting to hear what his, his uh, reaction was to Drake releasing all the content. I'm one of those people. So you already know, of course, I already tuned in to the Joe Budden podcast. Phenomenal content from beginning to end. I kid you not. I'm not just saying it because I'm biased. It really was a dope podcast. No lie. But anyway, um, he had his thoughts about the situation. He kind of was similar to what I was saying about Drake. But some of it, not really, 90% of it I agree with. It's just one thing in particular I kind of didn't agree with. Before I even commentate a lot and break it down, you already know what we're doing. We see the app on the block. We ain't never sitting there. We're going to spin it. Let's spin the block. Somebody at that label's job is reliant on her coming out. That's right. true. Like, so think about this, just again, from an economic standpoint, that um, these artists are now signing better deals. Mm hmm so somebody like Cardi, somebody like Uzi, these niggas is signing deals that artist are more friendly. favorable yeah. for the artist. So the label ain't even generating the margins that it used to generate. True. So if you don't have the other subsequent acts that are dropping that are going to keep the lights on this bitch, y'all headed for disaster. But well, that's the problem, too, because these labels aren't even trying to develop new acts. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they've abandoned Give people that. a mm -hmm. time. So yeah. now they just, all right, we're just going to deal. We're going to try to cheat our way by signing on some social media. If, I'm in, that much de if I'm in that much debt, the luxury of breaking a new act is gone. It's over. Mm -hmm. But that's I can't what, invest right? in it's nothing I else. And then y'all can't force Cardi do. to drop. Y'all can't force Uzi to drop because they got dope-ass contracts. Now we fuck. That's the other thing that nobody is noticing. Y'all not really getting no new mainstream acts. Right. Yeah, yeah. true. They milking Rarely. the shit out of the ones that they have to whereas we applauded LL for having 20 and 25 years in the game. These labels today are going to make sure that they five and six people that they relying on mm -hmm. have about 20 years in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all are keeping the lights on at this point. Literally. I'm surprised by that list being so small. You know what I'm saying? Like, aren't... Just for, like, just not knowing, but, like, don't they... Wouldn't they have like an uh, like an artist of like a bunch of artists that are like on the shelves that they can kind of go into that well, they, ball. That was the current roster. They had, I don't they, think they, that's Catalina. They had okay. ABBA on there. Yeah, no, I know, but <laughs> ABBA's like an, a legacy app. Yeah, like when's the, ABBA making? Is, is ABBA making new music? I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. I don't think so, but maybe. But the problem with that also is it. We don't have the money to put into developing nobody else new either. We are damn it. But that's why I'm asking here. about shelved artists that might actually have some development already there and they've just been kind of waiting for their chance, but you know You're not getting a chance if the, I'm in that much debt. Yeah, but so now we got budget to, to you're and not getting a All of the new niggas with some motion is ending up uh, at a fucking empire. Yep. Mm -hmm. Or, or two or anywhere empire, where yeah. they could just have their shit. Or mm -hmm. United Masters. Or, yeah. or, or mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have other options. It's fucked up out there. Now more than ever, as an artist, I, 
the days of signing, giving my shit away to a, a major it's over. is, is oh, over. Yeah, I know that that's over. been said before. No, now, but now we're more than ever. We're getting closer. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting real close. And a lot of these younger artists that now they have the benefit of the internet. They have information. Information. Yeah, they have way more information. So they like, hey, yes. I ain't walking into this just taking this slave deal y'all putting on the table. I'm hot. I can go do this over here. I might not sell 100,000, 200,000, whatever, but I could make more money selling 20,000 yes, records. Indeed. And you got the support of other smaller companies that Bro. are now showing you how to also be a part of it and do it with other and brands. And the information now, again, I'm not an artist, and I don't, this is my, music shit ain't my thing, but mathematics is my thing. So right. you could go over here and sell a million albums and make Bro. less money than the nigga that's selling 50,000 albums on an independent. You yeah. can sell a million and I got money. my control over here. And even look at the album sales, right? Like mm -hmm. it's 20, 30, 40K. Mm. Bro, if you hit 50, 50 60, K. If you hit 60K, you damn near a number one for the week. That was not the case mm. a few years ago. 60K was like, yeah, you can damn, be happy. we you flopped. Can, yeah. 60K mm. would be the end of your job where I'm from. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You would not get another shot. You are thing. celebrating. No you celebrate. We're about majors, be, be clear, not independent. Yes, not independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I know, just for the oh, people yeah. out there. What's the solution? That major label system is getting nutty. Then you got Universal jumping in, pulling the uh, pulling the shit with Drake. Hey, pull that shit down. Yeah. Oh, they took down the 100 gig shit already? Yeah. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. I thought the uh, the footage, uh, like I predicted on the pod, was the most interesting thing. It, it really to me. was. It was amazing to me. Yeah, the footage was amazing. It was truly, truly amazing to me. Great, great to see. Phenomenal mm. move by him and his team. Um, that release was peculiar. That's still up, by the way. It is still up. Yeah, I just checked the website. Oh, okay, it's up. The music is still there. Oh, well, then we take it back. Someone, yeah. someone had Drake, to talk. Drake <laughs> posted on his shit that. One is uh, Insta story that he was having a problem. All right, I'm sure, I'm sure. Someone back. called someone and said, hey, this is good. That's still a very peculiar drop, number one. Smart drop. He needed, he needed to be humanized Human, to the public. Yeah, I was, I'm, it diverted, when it he, diverted when, that beef energy When it off. happened, I hadn't seen the stuff, but I was like, I'm sure they're going to show him in a funny, silly, more mm -hmm. humanistic light because the pictures out here now is that he's this fucking... Dragon coming down, swooping everybody's shit. You gotta show him it. And the more creative, and even in the career, we've always known he'd be super creative, but just seeing the creative process that he does made mm -hmm. you just appreciate the song. Making the beat, yeah, him making the beat, with, uh, whoever was making reference the beat. tracks, doing shit for Kanye and all these other people. Yeah, that was dope. Do you think that it was received that way though? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Not my concern how it was received. Me as a music lover and fan, loved seeing that. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. I didn't even care too much about the songs. Yeah, didn't I didn't matter. care too much about the song. Didn't matter. Yeah. There was he a bunch of shit I didn't even know what that was. A lot of footage, which means he has been taping a lot of footage yeah. for years, which yeah. also tells me that something else is coming. Mm -hmm. You didn't you didn't you ain't been taping all this footage for all these years just to do a quick dump because you needed to be humanized. Yeah. Something is coming, like a big something with Hell all yeah. of this footage. I and mean, we saw that. that that Kanye uh genius Netflix doc and like with an artist of Drake Drake stature. I, yeah, I'm recording, and I'm gonna put together. I'm sure. The Especially, illest... he came from fucking media, from TV. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Like he I'm gave us a bunch of a bunch of C ever. sides. Oh yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. C and D sides, and mm -hmm. the real shit is coming soon. Yeah, but, for sure. But I was even really appreciative teaser. of that man. His his recording process, him in the booth, him coming up, him not so successful, him then mm -hmm. successful. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Monty. I was like, I don't know how I feel now about Hotline Bling, right? Now that I see him and his crew in there yeah. coming up with the lyrics to Hotline Blink, uh, we've all heard the rumors about Drum and mm -hmm. him taking the song the cha -cha from, from Drum and cha -cha. the idea and the inspiration. Cha -cha. Uh, that Drum song was a hit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That Drake song the drum. was a smash. smash. Yeah. Yes. Like mega, 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 mega smash. And any of us could have gotten that Drum beat and gone in the studio. We, we were not that. coming out with Hotline Blink. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. We were not coming out with Hotline Blink. I th I th now, where he got the inspiration from, even now, I'm too much of that nigga. That ain't, even that ain't never happened. I don't even like that. Where I fucked something down and then the phone was blown up. No, nigga. All her niggas knew that it was my turn to fuck it down. They, <laughs> to bust it down. they wasn't just calling while I'm right here. Look, they don't play with me like that. But... Even the inspiration where he got the song, I really loved. I loved everything about the drop. I Yo, can't even, lie. Even, just how Jay made it a priority to get that verse done. 
Like literally them talking about Yo Jay's literally on stage He about to get off in two hours And he going back in Just so we can get this one shit with him That was dope That was fine mm -hmm. There was a lot of them fire. stories coming out Ross just told one about how He went up to the garden Jay was about to perform Right before he went on stage Let him hear the beat And um, uh, Fucking record off Teflon Don uh, Freemason no, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he did it in He told him what the concept was And he did it in 20 minutes uh, and then when it hit the stage. Now, on the flip side of this coin, while I absolutely love the drop, I do not love what I think it symbolizes. What? What's that? I don't. I never think an artist of Drake's stature should do a free release of that stature. Think it uh, sniffs of something moving is, into legacy world. Yeah, something is something is funny there for me. Uh -huh. Yes, it was a phenomenal move. I think and was, I love it. I would agree with you if I it wasn't it. coming off a of horrible six months of I was about to say, yeah, I think I think um desperate times call for desperate measures. You 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 emptied a lot of banana clips for that stabbing. I think that nigga I think He that, sent a lot of bullets out. A hundred gigs, a lot of footage, and three songs. That nigga needs a Yeah, break. but I got a he, whole that that ain't that ain't half. That ain't even a piece yeah. of what I really got. I man. understand that. I'm just not used to that from our megastar. He ain't used to that. He's not used to I'm being in that position. To I'm trying to, to repurpose shit that I already have to give myself more time with exactly. all the other shit I'm trying Listen, to do. Listen, it worked on me. I jumped up back on the wagon. Look, and I jumped back on the wagon like, nah, good to see him. Listen, I don't like mob ties Drake. I don't like anybody that it feel like this is not organic and true to who you are. Word. The Drake footage for me showed him in his natural light with his normal accent, Smoking with his normal friends, <laughs> blowing. I never seen a nigga smoke more hookah than that. Except for artists. All of our favorite slacks. <laughs> he had that hookah going. Like, that's you, guy. Talking to his mom. That, that's about you. About the Serena shit. That, yeah. I didn't like the conversation, but I appreciate it because, yeah, it was real. Even that's that, real. when he's like, yes, mom, I'm dissing Serena. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind enough to do it with a slap on a joint that I know she'll like I normally customize the disses to be a song that the girl is gonna like cause I know the girl that's both uh, I like hearing that that's, that's some shit you would say hey yo fam nigga. that is some shit that you would that's tell never nothing I would say yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say the shit's nothing like he I know where back in. I, wouldn't, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck if Nobody they liked would, it yeah. didn't like it heard it didn't hear it I'm getting my shit off bitch I'm talking about his rationalization and the bullshit Ma, I know I'm dissing her, but at least she gonna like it. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? That's why it's a little bit maniacal. A little bit maniacal. I think he's maniacal. Mm -hmm. I want him to embrace that type of maniacal versus the mob, mob ties maniacal. So the evil genius rather than mob mm. ties? I mean, mm -hmm. I'm just going off what I believe his personality traits to be. I don't know, because I don't know him and he so, don't know me. Let me ask oh, you a question. Okay. If you if you started out that, because we've, well... Some of us have seen this. It was a nigga that might have been a nerd. Right? Me. And but, me. No, but and listen, me. listen, listen, listen. And me. He about to name my exact no, story. No, but now you're on a journey of hanging with them niggas. And now that shit really starts to become a part of your life. Where you moving around the streets with real street niggas and you engage with real street niggas on a day to day. We've seen nerd niggas start to adapt some of that. That's a fact. We've seen yeah. that. So you're talking about, though. We shouldn't encourage yeah, so you're talking about people without discipline. You no, talking about people without discipline. No, that's that's. Sounds I ran around with Web and Nitty for a million years. At no point did I feel like, all right, I can speak to people like I'm Web and Nitty. Maybe except for my fifty. But you start rapping about yo, nigga. You went from ten minutes to rapping on tapes, talking about don't let me go good a gun to come with a tripod no, and all that. I was other doing shit. that long before Web and Nitty. That's just that's just hip hop. What up? The second that I start doing it and behaving that way and pulling up and encouraging. The, the real niggas around me to live their life in a way that's not conducive with this music shit that we on and I'm doing me and you a disservice. Possible. It's possible, but... Drake, Drake is a chameleon, though. And so, you never... And, 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 and that's that the other thing that footage so, said. So, in that it respect, really, it really cemented him being the greatest actor in the world. Yeah, he's a chameleon. So at that point, if you are going to make that music because you want to be that well-rounded just musically, at some degree, you got to also live up to it in some type of... Or, or your... Outside. But that's, no, that's, that's just you as a... 
I don't want to just say an actor, but just as a chameleon of your surroundings. I got, if I'm going to play this part, I got to play it to a T because that's the only way this is going to make sense at the moment. Or whether this, it's real or not, or whether we respect it or not, maybe, you just got to stick to it. Or this is who I've been wanting to be all along and I just never been able to do it. Could but now I, got, now I have the means to do it. That's I got the n- real niggas around that's me that is... Cap. We, all, of, all of that is rapper cap. Then I know we in entertainment. See, that's rapper cap. If my mom is in these studio sessions and that's who I'm confiding in when I diss Serena, I don't want to hear none of that shit you're talking about. I don't want to hear nothing. I really want to be this nigga. Nigga, shut up. Be yourself. I could be multifaceted. Both things can be true. Both things can be true. No, it ain't. Both things can be true. No, it ain't. Yes, they can. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't I don't think think so. Everybody don't, don't have the discipline. Both things can be true. I know niggas that stone cold killers that will get on the ground and Google gag at with their kids and do all that other shit. True. And it's both them. They, they, they are both genuinely them. That don't have nothing to do with a nigga inviting his mom to the studio and explaining to him that her, her his thought process and when he disses girls and customizes. So that could just be the relationship with moms, my nigga. You think gangsta? That could be the relationship with moms. I'm gonna tell you my beliefs. I ain't yeah, trying to yeah, convince yeah, y'all of nothing. I sat yeah, with enough sure. killers to to uh, to have my own beliefs about them. Yes, and, then, and they don't have them, hearts. Some of them were kind. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that they're not kind-hearted. Okay. I'm saying stylistically, there are similarities between them. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I know killers that great with their kids, great Me with too. their parents, yes. great with such and such. I also know killers, or used to, that had, uh, let's keep it in the same ballpark, that had discrepancies with the opposite sex. Mm. How they handled those and went about those was in a very manly see, fashion. See, I, 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 I agree and disagree, but I also do think the only thing that separates this from the other people, those other people ain't going on camera to expose it to the rest of the world, even if they do move like that. Mm. Even if in secret. That's what I'm yes. saying. Like, that, I don't want to hear that, none that of this that shit. Alone, that alone You're separates. the biggest star in the world. I don't yeah. want to hear none of this mob tie shit. Yeah. Yo, it's... All right, y'all, we back. We spent the block one time. It was like a 15, 20 minutes word, man. So if y'all woozy, y'all get it. But we saw the up on the block and we got him. But let me say this. Shout out to my guy Joe as always once again. Episode 749, great content. And like I was saying, I pretty much agree with everything that everybody said. My only my only thing that I kind of didn't agree with when he was speaking on the mob tie situation, because I kind of I come from that background of being a, a straight A student, the one they kind of called nerdy, but he was popular and dressed good, get all the girls and all that. It just wasn't a street nigga. But I, I grew into that because of my situations in life. I, I, I started, it's just a lot of things. Now for me, I had grew up in the typical dad out around poverty, trying to come up in life, figure it out. You end up going to the streets and whoever you hang around, y'all all end up acting alike. That was my background. Now I'm not gonna say that he had a rough life because we know he was a, a movie, a, a child star. Uh, he had a show, Degrassi, we all know about that. So I'm not gonna really say he was struggling, but as far as finding a, being a man and his identity, one that identifies with the black people because his dad is black, which makes him black. Even though he probably didn't come from like the hard street life or uh, growing up in poverty. However, he still was a kid with his mother staying home, just the moms. And before he got on watching her do what she had to do just for they can make it. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the typical stuff that family go through also trying to be accepted in the community he want to be accepted at because he, he is black. Even though he got half Jewish background, his father is black, that makes him black. But I can understand that. And then I can understand when you try to like become that because your vulnerability is like people are attacking you or feel like you're less of a man because you, you're you not afraid to express your emotion and your feelings, especially for the love for a woman or love for anything, which is the key to life. So I can see the target with what people try to play him and say he ain't cool enough, he ain't street enough to fit in. Cause without the music, they, they probably will still be singing about Drake. When it came out that he actually better than all these artists that try to play him. But I can see him trying to join his friends that's actually, his childhood friends that's actually from the streets. Hanging around them, he soaking it, he soak all that in, pause. And they become one and the same. Birds of a feather fought together. So he ain't a street nigga, but I can see him having street nigga tendencies because of that. The niggas know what I'm talking about. That's the kid that, that was a good kid. He talented and all that. But because he talented and people think he popular, the bully niggas or the real street niggas used to like antagonize and bully him. Until he got older and like, yo, I, yo, just because I, I, I ain't, 
I ain't afraid to express my feelings, y'all. I ain't, don't mean I can't fight. Damn, I mean, I ain't no man. So I understand. Because they've been doing this to Drake since he came in the game. And this is 10 plus years of this going on with him. So now that he's fully developed, the, the, the man, literally the man, he got his bravado really showing now. And now people feel like it's this taste for all. He shouldn't do that. Now y'all tired of seeing him winning. But it was okay for him to like be quiet when y'all was doing all of this. Trying to clown him just because he was making songs about women. But them same songs that he was making about women was the reason why a lot of you niggas made babies. The nigga broke history in a lot of things. And he only just did that. He out rapped you niggas too. So I can see that. I can understand why the mob ties feeling would come from. And you had a nigga boy that, that from the reference track that basically wrote it. Drake wrote his rapping part in the end. But that's not Drake's background. He come from that, but that's not his background. So I can see somebody had to write that. And he put how he felt, which the part that he was rapping, Drake wrote that. Everybody, even Warrior said that. So I can see that angle of why Drake end up how he is. It's, it's, it's the real good kid, Mad City. It's like y'all down there to the good guy, to the bad guy. And y'all can call it Krispy Kreme, glazing, whatever you want to call it, bro. I'm just speaking facts. I'm speaking facts. And the fact that they broke down the fact that Atlantic was in debt almost $4 billion. The owner of Universal, son, the owner of Universal is, is Drake's uh, go-to guy for the cash cow. That's, that's who he got who he got to talk to. That's his big dog, Lucius Grange. I think his son's name is Elliot Grange, and he took over Atlantic that was in $4 billion debt. Now, when you start breaking this down, if if that was a, a, a major record label that was in that much debt, most of the artists, other than people like Drake and a few others, ain't on Atlantic. Everybody else is on Atlantic. So if they in $4 billion debt, and most of the artists that was out is on Atlantic still today, that many one, that many people winning, but people like Drake. So now this everybody want to be for Drake starting to make sense. Because all of this started out with him and Metro Boomin. When Metro came out with the rent, like, the numbers is really, I did this set, but, but her, her law still get number one album and blah, blah, blah. It's starting to make sense now. It's starting to make sense. None of these niggas was really getting no more money. Drake came in the game and he started killing it. They didn't think he was going to kill it like that. And now it had got to the point, they was in $4 billion debt that the owner, which is, the boss of Drake's, his son had to take over. Y'all don't see the correlation in this? So it, it is, it's like Drake got his hands tied into everything. And that's how the other artists felt. Then you got artists like Cardi B that's very talented. She come out, she gonna keep the lights on in. But she got her deal sought out so much that she come out when she want to. And she ain't dropped since her first album. So they can't get no money off of her. They keep them even more in debt. Lil Uzi, he barely come out with music. You gotta understand, all the, the artists that they could wing off of, they barely draw any kind of music. They ain't had no kind of streams coming or none of that. So that's probably why you gotta add all that together and you'll be like, oh, I, I kinda get it. And that's starting to make sense. A lot of people ain't wanna say what the real reason is for them. all of them not like Drake. That's because all of them not getting any money no more. They have to do everything else besides the music. Drake can just simply use the music and do whatever he want. The last person that was able to do that and still can is Sean Carter, it's Jay-Z. Drake is just the modern day hope that can sing, if you ask me. So, them saying that, it kind of, it broke all that down and started to make sense to me now. So I get it, and that's my angle from it. But nonetheless, the, the honey gigs, great content now, it's still shout out to Drake because he released it for free. But Universal, anything dealing with Drake, it garners a lot of money. I don't care if it's a, a snippet, whatever, 15 seconds. It's gonna, it's gonna garnish a lot of money. So he is signed to them. So they flex their muscle on Drake. And he had a re-release the 100 gigs with the audio part, the music part. He had to get that copyrighted through Universal. But the content, behind the scenes, the studio sessions, all that, 
that's still free content. Of course, minus the music part. Like anytime you, you got the audio playing from an actual Drake release song, you have to mute that if you're trying to create content. Just a, a, a heads up for uh, any new content creators that don't really understand copyrights and stuff like that. Just giving y'all a heads up on how to do it the right way. You can upload all that. Just mute out the music part. The actual songs. Because it's a lot of that going to be through all the documentaries. So you still got to give shout out to Drake. Because that wasn't his move. They did that. But he still circled back and made it where people still can get what they get. And they also made that song, it's up an official song, release, smart move. I had already said that. This is the song he should have came out with. He tested the waters and found his way. And they say he run to Atlanta for street cred and all that bullshit. I don't see it that way. Because that beat and all that he used is an Atlanta type of sound. You can say he used that sound, but when he was rapping and singing, that was Drake's style that he brought to Atlanta. And he killed 21 Savage on that song. Let's be honest. That's the Drake we wanted to come out before push ups and all of that. That should have came out first. T testing the waters with these niggas. But I understand why he didn't do it because it was 21 Savage. He didn't want to get between it. I get it. But you know, man, all this, man, and what Kendrick doing, bro? Everything I said is transpiring, man. And you can be a fan of who you want to be a fan of. But at the end of the day, it's not about the battle. It's about the war. And I think Drake understand that. Because all them people that was bandwagoning K-Dot, I don't see them nowhere. They're not popping out right now. It's still hot outside. Where y'all at? Huh? Ain't, K-Dot ain't featuring on none of y'all songs that was in his video? Not even from LA? No? Oh, okay. So what is this about? What is you a, a united front? Or was it just to get all the people together so you can beat Drake in a battle? That Drake still is Drake. After all of that, all those people plus K-Dot they're not like us, everything. Drake is still Drake. And now after this, this release of the, the 100 gigs for your head top falls, they're starting to look at Drake different. Because in those studio sessions he was showing, every song he was showing that he created is what we know Drake for. The, the songs that got the ghostwriting allegations, he not sharing that. He's sharing the hits that he created, showing y'all how he created it. And even with the songs that got the reference from If You're Reading This Too Late, he's still showing the part that he created. So I already know y'all gonna hate on him just to hate, so y'all gonna still say, oh, he a ghostwriter, blah, 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 whatever. It ain't about the battle, it's about the war. And in the end, I think exactly what I said months ago when it's like that first came out when this beef initially started. Drake gonna 48 Laws of Power and rope a dope this nigga. Make you think he, he got the, the win and he gonna annihilate him. And K Dot probably heard people saying that, so he got something to tuck for that. But judging off of all how all this happened, he's not gonna be really be that lethal for Drake no more. Because the angles he already know now. He just got to get dig down deep with those angles now. Now Drake going to be prepared. So now it's spooky for him. But anyway, man, that's all I have for y'all, you know. Leave a comment down below let me know how y'all feel. Now, you know this world keeps showing me every day. And showing y'all what I always say. Love each other. Till next time. Show us truly. Heartbreak. What's good, Lay Bloomer Gang? It's yours truly. Heartbreak Ace. Now... I don't know about y'all, but for me personally, since I could remember as a kid, I've been a geek and a nerd when it comes to technology. Now, I got to have the latest trends. I got to have the nice cameras, uh, all of that, all the essentials for podcasting, especially making these videos to give y'all with high quality audio and uh, visuals. I only go to one place, 
And of course, y'all know that's Amazon. Amazon got everything you need. Everything from A to Z, literally. And you know, they got a lot of good prices. Some things are pricey, but you don't have to get that. You know what I mean? I know people be on a budget a lot. We got bills to pay. We got to take care of our kids. We got an everyday lifestyle. I get it. So I made a list for y'all. Must have for content creators, for beginners or pros. Just simply go on my channel, hit the link like I'm showing you in this video, and see if it's something that you might like. I'm pretty sure you will. Especially if you want to look good like I do on these videos. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking with y'all, man. But you know what, man? As always, show love. Show love to each other. It's yours truly. Till next time, talk break.